Hello, my name is Kimberly Douglas. I'm an Arabian specialist with Markel Insurance. I work with many riding clubs and associations to make sure they have the appropriate coverage as it relates to their riding club. I'm going to share with you some of the most frequently asked questions I receive, so hopefully it will help you prepare with your club moving forward. Anyone that is a board member needs to make sure that their riding club or association has the proper liability policy in place that will cover you in, in the case of any lawsuit that might arise. You can insure any event on an individualized basis. The best way to write your policy is on an annualized basis, which is way more cost effective. Questions that I usually get from people in reference to their riding club or association policy consist of, are members included in the policy? Members are included in your policy. The policy also covers you for legal defense in the event of a lawsuit and would cover you whether you were negligent or not. And built into the Markel liability policy is a cross liability endorsement, which ensures that members cannot sue members and board members cannot sue board members. Another question I usually get is in reference to medical payments. People aren't sure what that coverage is or why they would need it. Medical payments is a goodwill coverage that basically would cover any medical expenses should somebody involved in your association or a guest attending an event is injured. Some of the biggest gaps in coverage that I usually see is most clubs believe that their volunteers are covered under the policy and their spectators are covered under the policy, which are usually the two most basic exclusions. Another part of this policy that most people forget or think it's covered somewhere else is as it relates to leased or owned facilities of the club or riding association. The same thing goes for horses that are leased or owned by the club. If you have facilities or horses that are leased or managed or owned by the club, they can come under your liability policy for the riding club or association. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to be compliant with a facility that is asking for more coverage than you have in your policy, excess umbrella policy can be added on to your current policy to give you the limit that you need. Two good optional coverages everyone should be aware of include inland marine coverage as well as crime coverage. Inland marine will cover anything that's valuable, items that are owned by the club, whether that's tack equipment, or saddles, it does not include dollars or anything of monetary value. If you are looking for coverage for any currency, you would get that under your crime coverage, which is also optional. Any person that participates as a board member for a riding club or association needs to know that it does not cover the general liability policy, does not cover their personal assets. An additional policy can be added. It's called a director and officer's policy. It's a separate policy, but it does protect board members and executives for having their personal assets at risk as it relates to their involvement with the association or riding club.